really quick. Um, good morning. Welcome to our Tech Thursday. And today I have Leticia Clayton Usher yeah. with me. Hello. She's worked mm -hmm. with List Support quite a bit. And so she's a little more advanced than I am. Uh, yeah, I know. Kind of scary. <laughs> we don't I, think she I, is. I, I actually admit that. <laughs> so anyways, um, if she is going to go over today in detail as far as how to do it for sale by owner, um, how to do HUD homes um, and what have you and how to publish it out and what, you know, sometimes we have tools, but sometimes we just don't know what the tool and the functionality is about. So if we can kind of help you guys in, in, um, in understanding how you can use that tool to advance your lead generation, and I think that's the bottom line. So, um, and in our sphere influences are really are not gonna touch, I promise you. There's so <laughs> many people out there Anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to school over uh -oh. and Leticia, come uh -oh. on girl, and uh, <laughs> basically take control of this thing here. Okay, so we signed into my list reports, is this me? Mm -hmm. yeah, right here. And for the marketing kits, you can see that I have several that I've done. And what I did was for the FISBO, um, is this it? Yeah, okay. So what Is I this did, a yeah. Well, okay. I'm, I was actually getting ready to go create a fizzball. So, but before we start, I just want to make sure y'all know how to do the drop down, how to create it, and then what have you. So, ah, so okay. start, uh, Leticia, if you wouldn't mind going to this tab really quick. Yeah. Okay. So this is your home page. So when you're getting ready to do it, you click on um, create. create. Well, I click on marketing kit. See. But... Different, different <laughs> I click on marketing kit so that right. Can we move? Us? Yeah, move okay. us over here on the third screen if you want. Uh -oh. There oh, you go. Oh, they're so fancy in here. <laughs> Woo and then I can just click new marketing kit. And depending upon where, for this, we can just go to Zillow and do a for sale by owner. Sure. But anywhere you find your for sale by owners, then you're going to put that information in. But Mar um, remember, we have Vulcan 7 that you can tap into you can and go look to that at. as well. Right. Takes us a little longer, but. Um, just for, you know, this, we'll just do, just for this exercise, we'll just go to Zillow. for this. Yeah. Cause I know how we, feel uh, yeah, however you get your data, uh, it doesn't matter. Honestly, there are no letters on the keyboard. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then, uh, sorry. Uh, just give me somebody in the back, please. For sale by owner. Did I get it? Mm -hmm. uh, and anything, because what happens is you can put the link in uh, and it'll pull all of the information. So you don't have to, you know, go through and do all of that. Uh, I just need to take them out so we can find one really quick. And Vulcan 7 is ideal for it as well. But Do you I want to buy agent or by owner? There I want to buy okay. owner. Mm -hmm. There we go. And this is in Atlanta. Nice house, y'all. It's beautiful. And ideally, we want, I don't know what price range everybody works in. However, um, copy that, go back to. So she just copied the URL at this point. I did. And then new marketing kit. Put in the address. I don't even know what it is. Two five. Right, here's the URL. Yep. Can you do and that? And I can, but after you put in the address, mm -hmm. is you got to put in the address first, and then put in the URL. Gotcha. Okay. Because I yeah. don't think it's gonna. It's pull okay. It. Go back over Zello. Mm -hmm, I see it. Uh, Laquanda. Oh, okay, cute. Cute. There it is. Okay. It pops up. Perfect. See how and, quick that, I, mm -hmm. that was? Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to do any of these. You just, hit. okay, it says three property photos have not been added, which means it's added all the rest. Okay. So do you want to update it? 9 out 10 or do you want to look Let's at it? Let's look at it first. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. I've done it. They are running the program. You can go in here and edit anything once it populates so that you'll have, where's your, I got, 
I think I already had low order. Did I? Here, this one was yours. Yeah, yeah. Lewisburg, right? Okay. Okay. So let's do that one. So that we're I now, already pulled. yeah, while the other file is being generated, we just want to show you an example once you create a file, yeah. what it looks like. And if you go, it's waiting. I've yeah. already um, invited the lender, just so you know, but this was an old one. Um, yeah, see, you changed your paired loan officer since the marketing kit was created. So it may, okay, here. So update. Just an update, yeah. There you go. And then it'll pull in everything. Is it okay? Okay. Patience. Over I one. know. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, still working on that one. We were on Lewis. Yeah, it's actually working on it still. Oh, it's still working. See, anytime on you pull any data. Now true. let's go back to the one I have. I think. That one. Oh, actually, my for sale. Uh -uh. Okay. Is it ready? Yeah, actually, okay. the uh, 75 10, and that's a different story. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Bela Circle. Okay. Let's say we're advertising that one that we just pulled for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend that's for sale by owner. And all of this you yes. have, but I want to get down to active listing. And then your property website, this is what I send to FISBO. Now, can we look at it real quick? Absolutely. So we can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're for sale by owner and an agent send this to you, mm -hmm. um, let's see, is there, the about home and it'll do all of this if we just scroll and show up. So when the when the homeowner click on the link virtually, mm -hmm. they see all these photos that was previously uploaded uh, from a prior sale. And as you can see, mm -hmm. I would be impressed thinking that you spent a ton a of time <laughs> right. time on my property right. that you're trying so to hard to sell it for me. Okay. So um there's a lot of pictures. Okay, on this here we one. go. I was trying to get to this. Oh, look. It talks about the convenience. It gives you. And I also like the fact it did layout. a 3D uh, mm -hmm. layout, but that was included part of the, um, the, the picture. Uh huh. Yeah. So now go after the photo gallery. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Then we sent out this. Let me come out of the photos. You can send this to your um, to your FISBO and. And with the, you can text it to them. Um, or right here where it says share, it's gonna, however you want to share it, email it to someone, um, email it to yourself. You can tweet it out or copy the link and do a text to them from Chime. That is awesome. Yeah, so um, I sent a little text that says, hey, um, you know, I see that you're selling your property yourself. I made your property website. Take a look at it. Let me know how I can assist. You know, most of your seller don't realize with what's report is a matter of click, but for them, for them trying to do it themselves, mm -hmm. creating a website, that's mm -hmm. like point mm -hmm. nine out of 10. So exactly. And then all of the, the property report, uh, the infograph is the schools and convenience and all of those things. Um, all of these for active and then if you scroll to the bottom it gives you listing presentation information so here's your pre-listing presentation that we can look at um, your buyer reports all of that from the one thing that we did and that cool looking I mean <laughs> if I if I right. was you know the seller and you send all these information over to me to you yeah i mean come on and then it's going to tell you about it. it's going to give you all of this mm -hmm. and you can share this to facebook or yeah. email it or download it you know and use it in in whatever way you choose the only thing about sharing a facebook because you don't technically have the listing mm -hmm. i will probably be cautious and do a authorization to right. show unlisted property right. before you publish it out in the market but for your listings, you can. Oh yeah, for your there. own personal listing, absolutely Correct. all day. But Correct. if you're doing for sale by owner, mm -hmm. ensure mm -hmm. you have written permission to advertise it. If not, you might go. Um, you might run into some issue mm -hmm. in license law. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I but it's that. a good tool for you to um, advertise um, what property you know 
that is currently for sale by owner and how you can make it look really pretty with a click of button. And you saw how fast we did that this. Is. And I mean, it gives you all of this. So if your neighborhood reports and so forth for your buyer, if you want it, you know, to send that for sale by owner mm -hmm. to a buyer, then you, you know, kind of have that. Um, just to say, hey, check on this, you know, check on this property. I'm going to do this really quick. Okay. You know what? I just realized. Okay. All right. I just realized, and I apologize, uh, Mike, Satan, and Jackie. I hope y'all were able to <laughs> access to, <laughs> through the Zoom. Uh, uh -oh. I know Jackie was in workplace, so do, I do apologize that some of you did not get a chance to um, see it. I thought I have automatically, automatically admit everybody. So I do apologize. I just realized what okay. happened here. <laughs> so um good morning all and i apologize if you guys were unable to join for the last 10 minutes actually Letitia and i have been going at it so, <laughs> so i apologize okay. um you want to do well, a little start over really quick just a quick glance okay yeah so list report is all about Got you me. doing farm geographic farming um for sale by owner any hut homes out there you can advertise make sure you give when you advertise anything make sure you always give credit to the source okay that is required by license law so Leticia has been working on list report for quite a while now and she is very fluid in this and when you also <laughs> have a lender that is sponsoring you you can actually uh, have a premium uh, spots for okay. speak. Otherwise, you get the standard, which is does not include a whole lot of bell and whistle on this. Right. And right. Um, so, you want to make sure that you are adding a lender to your portfolio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> so, we're going back kind of in the beginning, so to speak. When you first log in last week, we talked about how to sign in list report, what mm -hmm. the functionalities are, what kind of stuff they have. And today we're just going to talk about how to use this tool to market lead generation for you. And so um, really quick, when you first log in, um, this is your dashboard. Once you have partnered yourself with a lender, our preferred lender is Nancy Barlow with um, New American Funding. And um, so once you do that, this is the dashboard you have. You see that? Yeah, it's here, my lender. Right, so you can add your lender of your choice, mm -hmm. and that's what we have. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to home, and then let's talk about how we market ourselves. Okay, so you go into marketing kit. Go into marketing kit. And earlier, Leticia was saying, <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. I do apologize. Oh. I thought I had let all the participants in, and. but I did not. <laughs> uh, my bad. Um, so anyways, as you can see, you can market any property you want, okay? Make sure one, you have written permission from new construction subdivision. If you do for sale by owner, that is perfectly fine. So go into marketing kit, add new marketing kit. Okay, and yours is a, the one yeah. that you just, mm -hmm. uh -huh, the one she just added. Well, we'll go over the, um, so when you add new marketing kit, mm -hmm. You put the property address here. I actually got one picked out for okay, you. Okay, perfect. 1090 Little uh, Water. Uh, 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 1090 Water. Oh, there it is. Okay. Circle. Circle. Uh -huh. All right. I know you, you like me and your mm -hmm. losses, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's an active listing. No, it's actually, let's say for sale, by, for sale by owner. You see how that? Perfect. And also, click on the uh, listing scenario real quick and show them what um, what um, availability we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got, whether it's acting, you're trying to get it. This is something new that listing they added. Listing acquisition. Mm -hmm. That's a little, little different. Your lender has to uh, approve it. If it's a pre-listing FISBO, new construction, under contract, so just so, you know, listings, off market, or something else. So, like, under contract, wouldn't you want all the neighbor know that you have put the house okay. under contract? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this is another lead generation source, same as so listing. Y'all know how that works. Mm -hmm. But what's great about listing report is that it's going to give you some beautiful flyers. Mm -hmm. in marketing properties as off-market, especially in Zillow. 
And so you want to pop right. over Zello? Yeah. So Leticia. We these, yeah. She pulled basically search. I'm going to mm -hmm. let you talk. Sorry. That's okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> I did a, a quick search on Zillow for sale by owner. And this is what it pulled up, 2,000 results. How many of those could we market to? Um, and we did this one. So let's pick a different one. Ooh, let's do. We're not going to Gainesville. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> market yeah. in the area that you're comfortable with, y'all, just let's so see. you know. I should have put in it here. I'll put McDonough. Um, where am I? Way Sorry. over Sorry. I um, apologize. <laughs> I think somebody's trying to come in. I'm so. telling you, it's so fancy in here, y'all. Okay, somebody's just chatting. Okay, okay. never mind. My apology. Uh -uh, All right. We're going to do just McDonough. Okay. This one is pretty. Yep. And it's only been on market two days. It's 5,600 square feet. Um, okay. I'm it's probably got a full base. Mm -hmm. I want to copy that so I don't have to try to remember what it is. Okay. All right. So we're going back to list report. This one. Mm -hmm. You want to put it in? Sure. You can just back click. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. Try this again. Yeah, delete it. All right, now. <laughs> so you're going to let you paste? Nope. Oh, mm -hmm. there it is. I wasn't in there. Oh, nope. Gave you a wrong really? one. <laughs> Control C. I got it. All right. Next place first. You shouldn't have to. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. McDonough, here we go. It's a FISBO, and this reference URL is it's right there. Here. But it's just a couple click of the button, really, right. y'all. It's so easy. And then it's going to put everything in. So all of these tabs, you don't necessarily have to do until you update it, because all of this, it'll put in for you. And then... So I always just go to the bottom, see how many pictures are missing. And we can update that if you'd like and put the pictures in, you know, physically put the pictures in and then hit submit. And it's going to do a report that gives us everything in just a few moments. It's working on it right here. So this is the new one. Um, or do you want to see the one that you did earlier on yours? Um, there it is. See? Yeah. That's the one we just created we just for, Fis that one for FISBO, mm -hmm. just so you know. Mm -hmm. So once you create a file, when the report's ready, typically it takes, what, less than five 30? minutes? Yeah. yeah <laughs> they say 45 minutes, but it I doesn't. it does not. So I it think does. it just depends on how many users on this report. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hit mm -hmm. view. And Leticia's going to show you where all the marketing Good kit stuff. is. Oh, it's coming. It's thinking. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's a world of death. There we go. A circle of death. Okay. All right. So do you automatically have a property website? You can share that definitely mm -hmm. with, click on that so you can see it real quick. Mm -hmm. So you can share this website mm -hmm. with, look how pretty it is, right. y'all. And look at the photos. It pulled all the photos so we didn't have to go and put them in, which is very and not only that, it's begin with a school Disney. district, you mm -hmm. know, so people know exactly what school district. And as you can see, festivals, they don't, they, they don't always take the greatest picture. <laughs> right. And so you have the, <laughs> the, the home phone camera, and then, uh -huh. you know, somebody's friend was professionally came and took a picture. Well, it's about lighting with uh, photos. So but anyway, at the end of photo gallery, mm -hmm. here's the area report. Right. Um, All of this outdoor, you know, what can be done. The neighbor. neighborhood, what's around. We all like to know what's good to eat. eat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and then your school. Right. Um, information. So this is all just a click of a button in your fingertip and that you can forward to the seller mm -hmm. and say, hey, I have created a personal website for you. Right. And they think you spend hours, hours and creating the website. So this is a great tool to obtain marketing. Mm -hmm. All right, um, go, go back, back to my to real, 
Okay. And that's See, how you do it. I keep losing the mouse. That's okay. So now with HUD homes, just so y'all know, I actually pull 7510. Uh, this is, there. yeah, click mm -hmm. on property information. So this is where I pull HUD homes, okay? So you can advertise any HUD homes and what have you. So, um, but you always have to give the credit and the source. So I basically pulled the HUD home, go back mm -hmm. to the report and Which basically one? did the report um, while I was trying to do a FISBO, but. Which one? Uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. This is Baylor. Uh, this is my old one. Mm -hmm. And oops, I think what we did was put in the other information. It's we'll okay. Start over for the original. Well, I'll just take this out. Mm -hmm. All right. So when I create the head home right here, you can see all the files. Give a second. Mm -hmm. The circle of death here. <laughs> um, there we go. Here's all my marketing kit. I have personal website. Okay, and I have open, well, I can do open house because it, it is listed by a listing agent. I can definitely do promotional flyer and share with on Facebook. You can see that, what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay, and it's branded to me. Okay, so, um, but what I would definitely edit report because you got to give credit to the listing agent. Okay, you cannot, you okay. cannot advertise something that is technically not yours and not give the credit. Okay, so, um, so, property information, I'm back. Okay, I'll probably description that. here, I will I put uh information provided by and if you look at your hud home site right here who the agent is and the brokerage you always have to list the brokerage okay so i just control and copy so now i have given the source just kind of like zillow mm -hmm. they give the source of the person that actually advertise it uh, so you, when you hit submit okay so if you well give it a second yeah give it a second it's it'll pop up but uh -huh. you can see um and make sure you guys are talking to your broker ensure that you are buying for uh, the license law on advertising okay well, while this way, uh, <laughs> we just want you to know with list report, the lim the limited there's unlimited po uh, possibility, especially from Zello standpoint, where you can see Zello has all these information that you can just obtain and pursue all these FISBOs. Okay. And let me throw this out on um, what is it? Remind. Mm -hmm. We can look up all of max one's agents listings right so in my opinion that'd be a great way to um that we could communicate one with another and advertise those listings get it in writing from you know one of our partner agents right and advertise those listings um so that it, it is not just for the fisbos it's also if you're looking for buyers right so show us what some example that you would do for buyers. Okay, okay for, my, <laughs> for my, I want to do yours. Hold on. That's fine. Okay. It ain't up yet. Yeah, it All is right. up. So if you go back, this remember one? when we changed it earlier okay. on the HUD, uh, we gave credit where um, it was due. Mm -hmm. So um, there's a hole in this system. I know in this system, if you go down here to Nest, dot me mm -hmm. you can set up a property alert send it out to your um potential buyers and they get to search it looks just like a uh chime or um, uh, MLS. mls yep it looks so just show me like how to that. do that real quick okay you go into nest me if you want a that's just listed and so forth um Personalize, you want to share a link, 
for it. And then here, wait, I gotta, well, you can check and see if it integrates with Chime, which I think it does. Mm -hmm. um, I gotta find where you put your buyer in is so, Alice. Your, that's gonna be your site. Okay. But there is a, not a just listed, there is a, um, you can put your client in. I don't use this as much. I use the, this one. Listen, if you guys List have any questions, right. Mm -hmm. If y'all have any questions, there's videos mm -hmm. um, on site that show you how Nets.me works and what it does mm -hmm. as well. Spend a little bit of time on it. And all these the list report is actually honestly mobile so you can even it's great you can you do, can it, on even do it on your phone you can do it on your tablet yeah. yeah here copy this link send it to your buyers and then when they click on it it opens up to a website that has properties based on their criteria and so so let's copy that site real quick okay now you okay go it to? um here do it it's okay <laughs> now i'm just curious Okay, so when your client gets your link, they can sign in, they can search. search right. So act as a CRM. What happened, Nest.me actually uh, correspond with uh, List Report. Mm -hmm. So it tells you what your buyer's mm -hmm. activities are yep. and how hot they are. Mm -hmm. So this is a good way for you if you want to incorporate List Report along with your buyer uh, on search database. And this is actually linked in with um, your Georgia MLSs, uh, MLSs and yeah. uh, whatever you populate. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. this is can, mm -hmm. this can be a very powerful tool for you um, for a client to search as well. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Wait. All right. So, I mean, I can email it to me. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to kind of give you this little scores like Chime does as to how, you know, active, how hot, like you said, that they are. Right. And here you'll check that feed. Um, your leads, if you want to put your leads in here, and then, you know. Here, let's just put me them. as a lead. Just so this is how you can do leads. My, okay. I'm in yeah. Mm -hmm. to make so sure. add leads. And you just put your client's name. Oh. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put myself in. I know it sounds weird. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use a, a different email mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't it want may to. Not, well, it may not um, allow you to use that. Um, I'm going to use my Gmail account. So if I put my mobile, my uh, client's mobile number in here, mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I can get my list report alert, a monthly report. I include all information about your lead, home value, equity, rent, potentials, and more. Um, that's what I would choose. So add um, the lead, my list reports. Okay, so it needs an address to give you those values. Uh, let's do 1150 Little Water. That's one of my listing. You can put whatever listing you want, just so you know. Create. So I can do this. Mm -mm. You don't want that. Oh. Because uh -uh. no. remember, you're being the client. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no, actually, this is me. Oh, this is for your information. Yeah, okay, my information my to my client. Uh -huh. So the world of death. Here we go. <laughs> Got it. So I am currently active, I guess. Um, I can go nest.me. I shouldn't use my uh, real one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I know I can go my Gmail and get the information. I just right. better not do that this second. Um, I can type. Okay. So now I can search. 
I say I want to search 30253, which 252 or 253, which is McDonough. Um, how much do I want to spend? <laughs> and my budget is not as quite, let's say 340. Next. I want to, you know, as soon as possible. Yes. I want this, which type of home. Uh, I want detached. I don't want to attach. How many bedrooms? Minimum three. Okay. Age of home. See all these? They actually less See, than 10 you can years. Do no thanks. Show me the home. Right. So yeah. this is just kind of narrow down some of your mm -hmm. client. Now let's say, okay, I'm tired of this. Right. I'm just going to hit that. Because you know, clients are not going <laughs> to. They're not going to stay that long. So here are all, all the homes that's available to me. So if I click on this, okay, and, ooh, this is one of my favorite. Um, and that's because you didn't go to the email. I to know, <laughs> I know. I got to verify. Right, right, right. Now they got me in my database. <laughs> I say congrats. Okay, so this is from the buyer perspective. Now go back to list report. Let's refresh this page. Okay, now I'm active and I can see what my buyer is doing. Um, well, it hasn't sent any reports yet. yet. But, yeah. But once your buyer, yeah, mm -hmm. once your buyer start, you know, I did that. It's gonna make me go through a for, uh, multiple series mm -hmm. of things. So I'm not gonna for this intent, uh, this right. practice, we're not gonna do it. So let's say I like this one too. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna put on my favorite. You know, anyway, all the information that is being tracked through this is going to come back to you the agent because th these are your client mm -hmm. so um yeah of course it's going to make me do this because as you can see my phone's buzzing uh, and telling me okay but all the information is here right for them mm -hmm. to see so it's coming it's a little slow but it's coming and everything is here and the agent is there as well as the lender so from a buyer's perspective, that's what they'll see. And hopefully they don't have their own lender and they can utilize ours. Well, yeah, and most of the time your buyer are your leads. So you typically, in order for you to have all these upgrade and list report, you have to have a lender because it's the lender that's paying Thanks. for you to have these access. Yeah, it's very pretty in it. Yeah. So as you can see, because I added myself, now mm -hmm. I have a mobile version of the list report, uh, list report, and that's not me. So I can search like anybody else and everything else. So And all of that information comes back to us, the agent. Right. Yeah. Kind of like our, our smart apps. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, this is just one of the tools that you can use as a listing agent, also lead generation. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you got to decide how you're going to run your business. So if you're going to run your business where you are using list report, you know, for a portion of your schedule, and then you want to do going to China leads or what have you. So just set a schedule. I promise you, our business is about numbers. If you prospect every day, you'll never be without a lead. And mm -hmm. so when mm -hmm. you That's prospect, um, you're always going to be busy. And once you get really good at it, <laughs> your next step is hire your assistant. <laughs> Let them do this. Train them how to do this. Let them do this. So where they can set up, start an appointment for you. Mm -hmm. And that's, and the, that's goal. the goal. Yeah. Right. So because your time is more valuable, actually meeting the client, getting the lead, getting the listing, than this to sit behind administratively. But you do need to know how to operate these tools. If you don't, you can't teach it somebody else. So, and there's one other, I did this okay. um, earlier today, the list pack. Okay. Show me the list pack. What I did was, uh, let me go to my, um, you're right there. That's me. Yep. Okay. I made one and posted it on Facebook and it's, what do you mean? Oh, do I? Uh, Got it. 
that. Um, okay, this one is live on, I posted it on Facebook on one of my pages. Every time the, and it's homes under 300 in McDonough. Mm -hmm. It's live, so it's going to uh, automatically update every time a new home comes on or goes off market. Yeah, look, there's four Facebook clicks because her Yay. ad. So. And yeah, so, and I just posted this. Uh, at the end of this last month, yeah. 731? Yeah. So, um, and it's three listings in there. But as I said, as it changes, it'll automatically update. You can copy the link, share it on Facebook, or send it to someone by email. So there I thought that go. was really cute. There we go. Yeah. On your list yeah. pack, what did you do to create it? Not very much. Here we go. <laughs> we'll show uh, how you how easy it is. Yeah, I. I want to move my live list packs. Okay, and oh, now <laughs> I got it already, and create a new one, and then you give it a name. Um. Whatever, stop bridge. Do, do stop bridge for me, please. Okay. Well, you what, type what, better what, than me. Okay. Well, you gotta come up first of all, like anything else, when mm -hmm. you market, you gotta come up with a really catchy name. So, right. what is it you want to advertise? You want to do um, whatever. Amazing stop bridge homes under whatever. Okay. Or if your target is toward a uh, elderly, because we have more now demand for ranch homes. Mm -hmm. Uh, or a home with multifamily, meaning um, the upstairs has its own living space, right. the downstairs has its own li living space. Right. So whatever message of marketing you try to get across, uh, I will put amazing, amazing um, home with rental income. Okay. You can do that, or you can do amazing home with... Uh, in Mul multi multiple multiple yeah. uh, family uh, amazing multiple family home. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So Homes my brain with an S. Amazing so multiple mm -hmm. uh, family use use. Well, you gotta be careful because multiple use meaning is um, we can do anything. <laughs> well, well, the thing is that people so think multiple trash. use is like. <laughs> wow, I'm going. <laughs> See, um, a multiple use home can be a uh, they think multi unit, so that's just not um, amazing. Multiple use home um, for multi generation, you okay. know. So, <laughs> uh, whatever you want to put in, or amazing stepless ranch, better and stop ranch, yes, under 200. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to select an image, any image, and it's not going to let you move forward unless you do. So select an image. Do you have images on here? Okay. Oh, see, these are stock. They have in, there yeah, yeah, yeah. you go. There you go. Let's select that one. And if not, you, ha you can provide yeah, your, own you get image. your own images. So um, a quick description, same things, stepless ranch, you know. Uh, stepless ranch. Mm -hmm. Or your um, cephalus ranch in a quiet nested uh, area, easy access to hospitals. Think about who your clients are, okay? Interstate, back roads, I can't read, uh, with access to entertainment. Entertainment and shopping. Mm -hmm. How's that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to make it as you know appealing as, as possible. possible. Okay, and then what area? These are just let's do. Uh, oh, I said three hundred two eight one. Yeah, stop bridge is three hundred two eight one. That's fine. I wonder, uh, These are all two hundred two eight one. These are all just so you know. That's East Point. That's that's just strictly oh, McDonough. So um, no, we don't want to add a zip code. Okay, and we see it under two hundred. So, oh, you want to put I'll because we talked about two. Stockbridge, so you might want to ask Stockbridge. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about under uh, 200, so okay. I will go above one to two. Yeah, 
Want to make this one lower? No, higher because anything else will be. Uh, um, well, we got to do minimum is a hundred. Yeah, I would minimum 125 because you okay. can't find inventory right now okay. uh, without a <laughs> huge renovation. So, right. uh, so we want minimum two bedroom, mm -hmm. two oh, bath. Wait, we didn't change it to that. That's okay. Right, right here. I need. I can't type here. Starbridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Add. Add, add. Save. Okay. Okay. Now we got it. Um, any stories we want? Single story. I don't care what the square foot. Doesn't matter. And single family. Yes. Okay. And then created. And in a moment, any properties that fit that criteria are going to pull up and then you can post this anywhere. See how easy yeah. that is? And look at, look at Leticia's yeah, picture good. right there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's just that easy, y'all. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and you can send oh, it by email. Listed. Yeah. So now you can look Surprise. at it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you only said two bedroom. You didn't say any bathroom. I said two up. Yeah, and you yeah. didn't put the age. No. Well, you know, remember when you are geared towards certain type of client, uh, understand they don't want a whole lot of maintenance and what have you. So I want to keep that in mind. Whatever niche marketing you're trying to do, try to keep it within that niche. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, those are townhomes, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's supposed but to be ranch. We didn't, yeah. Yeah. We didn't put um, all we, of the criteria, right. but nevertheless, yeah. Right, and Letitia, you know, see how quick, quickly that is and see how it can capture the leads uh, that quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but anyways, I think that is pretty much our second half of list report on advanced portion of it. Just want you to know that you can create a, uh, a easy flyer to attract physicals um attract um HUD listings attract uh any new subdivision agent is willing to allow you to advertise make sure make sure make sure make sure that you get written permission it has to be written verbal does not count okay so um do any of you guys have any question at this time mike I know it's unfair. I get to see your name. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys do not have any questions, this concludes. And I want to thank you. Yes, thank you so much for coming in <laughs> and fun. share your expertise on this because, you know, I just, we just got the list report about two weeks ago. So for me, this is still slightly new, uh, but I can see all these items in here that you can be able to share with a click on your fingertip um what are, is promotional flyer virtual staging now virtual staging it is a cost but is at a up to 48 percent uh discount for uh your own listing okay i wouldn't spend any money on trying to get visible um on that so you can share infographics uh you can do open house sign-in sheets um you can share that through facebook have you done that um i haven't However, there I thought that there was a virtual open house and information on here. I think because, it's down the bottom. If I remember correctly. I don't see it, but um because most open houses now are uh, virtual. virtual right? right. So, you know, but you can post the information for sure. Right. You can post uh -huh. on Facebook, say, hey, come check out my virtual tour. I you know, I'm going to be on site, so if you have any questions, let me know and what have you. Um, so, but anyways, um, it's a powerful tool. Hope you all um, utilize this. This is free for you guys. Compliments of our lender. So utilize it um, and help Nancy and help yourself. Yay. All right. Thank yeah, you. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right. We appreciate you guys and uh, thank you for attending. And, um, we'll, see and you next time. we'll see you next time. <laughs> different bat channels. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit this. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.